Oh, hi there guys. So guys, at long last, here it finally is. The video you've all continuously been asking for. Well, one of you once sent me a message asking for this. And actually, another of you left a comment once, specifically thanking me that I had never made this video. But anyway, cheese in the fabric softener. We see how modifying our fabric softener through the use of cheese affects the outcome of our wash. It's almost definitely a very, very bad idea. Anyway, let's get on with it. Well, I guess this is actually happening then. So guys, for fabric softener today, we'll be using Comfort, Creations, Strawberry and Lily, the usual choice for this channel that you've seen many times before. Today's cheese will be Dairy Lily, Cheese slices, a very popular addition to fabric softener, and uh, we will need to heat the cheese in order to mix it, and we'll be doing that in the old faithful Mellowware. Let's get to it. One of the important things to note about dairy and cheese slices is that they are a good source of calcium. That's so absolutely ideal for our laundry needs. So let's uh, grab a slice from the pack, supply some heat to the pan, and then let's open this bad boy up. Click it a little lighter. Mmm, it's a good smelling cheese slice this. Right, let's drop that in the centre of the pan, and hopefully that will melt nice and quickly. But we probably need two, I think, for this particular wash. So let's uh, take a second one as well and place that in the pan. There we have it. That's a good, good bit of cheese right there. And uh, then we wait for that to melt a little bit before we carry on. Dairy meat crisps up nicely, which is why it's fast becoming Britain's number one choice of laundry cheese. Oh, just when I think of it, Pele, 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 Pele. That's all. And now we've got to get in there and really mix it up. Got to keep that, keep that moving around the pan so that uh, those crispy bits blend in, and we don't end up with a bunch of burnt-on cheese. It's absolutely critical to our uh, fabric softening, that is. And we can lower the heat slightly at this point. And uh, also at this point, we should add uh, Lee and Perrins, according to taste, some Worcester sauce. Uh, this really depends upon how you like your laundry, but uh, you know, we've got a fair bit of Lee and Perrins in there because, well, that's just how we like our laundry in these parts. There we go, that's coming along nicely now. That's just the right consistency in there. Nice and nice and gooey bit of cheese. A few little browned bits in there, adding to the texture. Mm, that's a great smell as well. That the inparin's very happy with that. Right, then we'll let that uh, sit for a little while longer. If you have any ideas of what I might do with some of these old smartphones of mine, please let me know. Right now they're just sat collecting dust and. I feel I should put them to good use. Right, we're now at just the right point to add our fabric softener. So, let's get this out and carefully and very slowly pour it in. Remember, it is double concentrate, so we don't need too much of it at this stage. Just mix it in slowly to the cheese. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. That cheese is turning lovely and pink, just the way we like it. That's it. That's right. So mix that in. Turn the heat back up a little bit again. There we go. And then we uh, just need that to, uh, to reduce slightly before it's ready to use in the washing machine. That smells wonderful. I suppose I could always acquire some super high-end Bitcoin mining ASICs and uh, create some serious, serious cheddar 
with my old phones, what could go wrong? As you'd expect from such premium ingredients, this is coming along very nicely. Really, really simmering away there and uh, reducing down absolutely perfectly. That's going to give a really good wash. Very happy with that. As the old saying goes, you haven't washed until you've washed with cheese. Mm. Probably needs a bit of salt actually. Add salt to taste. Oh yeah, it's almost ready. Now, as soon as that's done, we need to give it a moment or two to cool because, of course, hot cheese would uh, seriously damage the plastic of the uh, container of the washing machine into which one puts one's fabric softener. That's absolutely beautiful. That is really good. That's lovely. Look at that. That's, that's basically ready. Right, there we go. That's ready to go. Turn off the heat. Beautiful. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect. That is lovely. Uh, we'll add a bit of water to that. Cool that down a tiny bit. There we go. Mix that all in together. That is absolutely lovely. Right. And then we will open our drawer here and pull that into the fabric softener section. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Just the right amount. Excellent. We estimated that perfectly. Okay, that's in there. And then we're going to wash this lovely white sheet. Beautiful white sheet. That in there. Our usual aerial three-in-one pod. Stick that in there. And then we set ourselves a cotton program. 60 degrees, covered dry. And start. So now we'll find out cheese in the fabric softener. Does it work? And now we wait patiently for a short time while the wash completes. Well, weren't we all very patient waiters indeed? Here we are at the end of the wash cycle, just waiting for the door to unlock now. This is a very exciting moment when we see the effects of cheese in the fabric softener. There's our three beeps. The door is opened. Well, that's quite a smell coming out of there. And, oh, it appears the towel has been coloured a little more cheesily than it was before. But wow, that is very soft. That is some of the softest fabric that has ever exited a washing machine. So, uh, yeah, there's your result. As long as you uh, don't mind a slight discoloration of your items, then adding cheese to the fabric softener really is the way to go. Well, that most certainly was an outcome. I hope you found it enjoyable. Uh, it's almost definitely the last fabric softener video I'm going to be making for a while because they are totally pointless. Uh, but then so are most of my videos. Anyway guys, if you have any comments, please do feel free to leave them below. And uh, until next time guys, goodbye. And obviously that watch didn't actually happen. Just have a look at the time on the cooker before and after. It was a mock. Please don't put cheese in your washing machine. It's probably a bad idea. Or do, but make a real video of it. Wenn ich mit ihr sie sehe, nicht so schön wie man das andere hat.